have a plan. And my plan is always to write down my packing list first. Don't worry, this will actually be available on my blog sooner or later so that you can actually look up the very exact same things that I wanted to check off for my luggage. But it's very important to set out everything that you want, know that you need to pack so that you do not miss anything. First things first, we have to pack some shirts to wear on vacation, obviously. So I packed about 8 to 10 shirts because I will be gone for 8 days. So I wanted to make sure that I had something to wear in the morning and also at night time because swimming, obviously I'm going to want to change and I'll probably mess up a few of these shirts too. Next are shorts. Definitely pack according to how long you're going to be staying. I basically just did four pairs of shorts and then also a belt. Next is athletic wear. I am just packing everything that I could possibly need, shirts and shorts, for my trip. Then I brought two pairs of pajamas, one that had shorts in case it's too hot and one that had pants in case it's too cold. And then I always suggest that you bring two items that you can wear for formal dinners, whatever it's going to be, and then swimsuits. I brought four, I think. I tried to make sure that I can mix and match all of them though. And lastly, I brought this really cute lace crochet um, cover up top that I can throw on over a swim. making sure they're as tightly bound as possible, and then I put them into my bag. Now what I realized later on is that what I should have done was um, folded them twice in half and then rolled them up. That would have made them take less space. all of my makeup and beauty products that I will be bringing with me. So I am packing my eyeshadow that I wanted to bring, which is a CoverGirl palette, um, some concealer, some BB cream. I don't really want to wear foundation going to a really hot place. It just doesn't sound like a good idea. And I'm bringing this Urban Decay eyeshadow that I can also use as a highlight. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and put in all of those products that you just saw into this beautiful Target little packing cube and I have two of these and one of them is going to be for my makeup and the other one's going to be for like um, other stuff. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> so here's a quick pro tip. If you have any makeup brushes, you can use a rubber band to secure them. I'm actually using a hair tie because that means that if I need a hair tie during this trip, I'll have one on my makeup brushes. And it also keeps them all together throughout the plane ride. Thank you. 
like to put my makeup sponge into a Ziploc baggie mostly because I do not want it to get dirty because since this is going directly onto my face you do not want it to get all germy and ugh. And I'm also putting my contact solution in there because you are required to put these items in a baggie if they're liquid. <laughs> As you can see, I've definitely basically finished packing and I have perfected the art of rolling my items. So now I'm just adding some socks because it's very important not to forget your socks. So I inserted both the Target packing cubes into the little zipper item on the front of the suitcase. And then I also put in two pairs of flip flops because I will be putting my other shoes into my carry on bag because I did not have enough space. This brings me to my last pro tip. Definitely make sure to bring at least two Ziploc bags with you. You never know what you will bring back from whatever country or even city that you're going to, especially if it, you wanna bring home food or whatever, just to snack on the plane. So definitely make sure that you have some Ziploc bags with you so that you do not have to buy them when abroad. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely tell me if you would like to see what is in my carry-on bag, because if this gets you at least five likes, I will definitely post that video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys!